Hey YouTube, welcome to One Little Coder. Let's say you have got a Streamlit application. A Streamlit application, either that is something that you already deployed on Streamlit Cloud, or you are going to build a new Streamlit application and deploy it on Streamlit Cloud. Either way, you would have got a URL that looks like this. Almost um, the subdomain is gibberish. Not not entirely gibberish, but you know something that is long, something that's not easily readable or memorable. But what Streamlit has done a couple of days back is that they have introduced customizable subdomains instead of this very long you know gibberish name you can have a customizable memorable or short custom domain for your streamlit application and i'm going to show you in this video how to do that for example i've got an application that is deployed on streamlit cloud tracking github stars you can enter the github repository username and also the repo name and you would get the start tracking if i want to give a meaningful name for this streamlit application that is deployed on streamlit cloud all i have to do is go to the dashboard that i've got where i've got all the applications that i've deployed then i can click the three dots here need to the settings of the particular application for example in this case i can click this and click settings once i click settings it is going to show me the general settings and inside it is going to say pick a custom domain for your apps url the default url is based on the apps location in github now you can pick a custom subdomain github stars tracking stars tracking and let's say github stars tracking this is also not available so as you can see when the domain is not available it would show the error and your name should be more than six letters so git star repos git repo stars let me say git repos repo stars and this is available so i can save it and once i save it i'm going to get the new url and new name so when i click this or i can click here first see the settings it, it says git repo stars dot streamlit app dot com so i can say git repo stars dot streamlit streamlit app dot com so let me go git repo stars dot streamlit app dot com and let's see what is going to happen and it is yes it has loaded so this is how you can get a custom subdomain name for your streamlit application so the domain name is going to stay same streamlitapp.com the subdomain name that comes before streamlitapp.com is going to change streamlitapp.com is the tld top level domain and that's not going to change for that to change streamlit has to enable the entire custom domain but here we are getting a custom sub domain and that we can change using this step i hope this video tutorial was helpful to you in customizing getting a new subdomain name for the apps that are deployed on streamlit cloud see you in the next video take care